हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट और यूएवी द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडियन एयरफोर्स घातक एंड स्विफ्ट बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट द और सी ए वी इज डिजाइंड बाय द एरोनोटिक डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी दैट इज ए डी ए इन कोलेबरेशन विद आई कानपुर as this program is a classified one hence very little information is available in the public domain however some information is out from here or there or some media reports and agencies like drdo iit kanpur etc here i would like to mention that all the images or footage used in this video are owned by their respective owners and are only used for representational purpose only and may not depict the actual thing mentioned in the news so uh, let us start with uh, aura what is the full form of aura autonomous unmanned research aircraft but was eventually renamed as ghatak ucav but that i will talk later on see the aura will be a stealth ucav capable of releasing missiles bombs and precision guided munitions the program is in its project definition stage the design is in line with the former drdo chief controller for aeronautics said in 2007 that india's combat drone would be a stealthy flying wing concept aircraft with internal weapons and a turbofan engine the ucav's design is similar to northrop uh, grumman b2 spirit now the ada describes the aura as a self defending high speed reconnaissance uav with weapon firing capability the first image is released as part of the presentation shows the uav as showing having a stealth design the aura will cruise at medium altitude and will be capable of carrying two or more guided strike weapons with on board sensors for targeting and weapon guidance the flight control system and data link packages of aura will be designed and developed jointly by ada and uh, defense electronic application laboratory drdo chief controller r and d aeronautics dr pralad said capable of flying at altitude of 30000 feet and weighing less than 15 tons the ucavs will have rail launching for the missiles bombs and pgms that is precision guided munitions they will carry city situation needed the drdo is going to use a kaveri engine to power this unmanned vehicle the aura will be an 8 to 10 tons aircraft with a range of 300 plus km the indian ucav project is tentatively called uh, aura the target is to get the system operational within 8 years once the funds are cleared by the government official said the original kaveri project was meant to power the light combat aircraft but it got shelved as the engine could not deliver sufficient thrust for the fighter aircraft in its revived avatar the engine will be modified and its afterburners will be removed to power the first indian UCAV while a similar plan was mooted by the state run defense research and uh, development organization during the term of the previous united progressive alliance government the body had pegged the project cost to close to the uh, 800 crore at that time however then the government did not clear funds for the project so the main challenge in getting aura operational according to the experts is its central theme of stealth the drone is being designed to be invisible to radars with its radical flying wing design the absence of a tail to guide and maneuver the drone will require advanced programming and a cutting edge flight control system to keep it in the air besides aura india is currently working on at least one more futuristic combat aircraft program the advanced multi role combat aircraft or mk you can say aimed at developing a manned fighter jet now let me talk about ghatak autonomous ucav 
सी एक्चुअली घटक और स्विफ्ट और और दिस थ्री आर इंटरकनेक्टेड इन वन वे घटक इज एन अनमैन कॉम्बैट एयर व्हीकल दैट इज अमंग द मोस्ट फ्यूचरिस्टिक प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑफ डीआरडीओ द कॉन्सेप्ट इज इन सिमिलर टू द टर्किश टीवी टू बेरक्तर मिसाइल आर्म्ड यूएवीज व्हिच हैव बीन डिप्लॉयड इन द रशियन यूक्रेन वॉर घटक इज एन ऑटोनोमस स्टेल्थी यूसीएवी दैट विल बी आर्म्ड विद मिसाइल्स एंड प्रिसीजन गाइडेड म्यूनिशंस इट विल बी अ फ्लाइंग विंग डिजाइन विद एन इंटरनल वेपन्स बे and a turbofan engine the prototype is expected in 2024 25 earlier it was named autonomous unmanned research aircraft that was that is aura as i told you the design of the ghatak ucav is carried out by ada located in bangalore the full scale prototype of the ghatak ucav will be put under test by the end of 2025 The Indian Navy is also interested in procuring deck-based UCAV for aircraft carrier and landing platform docks. Now, it is uh, why it is an autonomous jet-powered, stealthy, man-way, man-made, uh, unmanned combat air uh, vehicle being developed by the ADA. It was initially called the Aura, as I told you even earlier. Why I am repeating this so that you should keep this thing in mind. but was eventually renamed as ghatak in 2015 then defense minister manohar parikar informed rajya sabha that ghatak ucav will be powered by a dry variant of kaveri after burning turbofan engine which will have a thrust of 52 kilo newtons the flight control system and data link packages of the ucav will be developed in house by ada the ghatak ucav will be developed with public private sector participation it will have internal weapons bay for carrying missiles bombs and precision guided munition its design will be based on flying wing concept and will be powered by a turbofan engine the first flight of a scaled down test bed was carried out in july 2022 and that of a full scale prototype is expected in 2025 now swift that is stealth wing flying test bed drdo's swift is a technology demonstrator of ghatak ucav i told you these are all interconnected basically swift is a scaled down version of ghatak which is ghatak which is under development the main intent of the swift uav is to demonstrate and prove the stealth technology and high speed landing technology in autonomous mode in july 2022 it completed the taxi trials and the take off and landing capabilities of swift were demonstrated at the aeronautical test range of the aeronautical development establishment at chalekere in karnataka i hope you must have got some idea about it if you like it please like share and comment thank you